and welcome to Voodoo Fundamentals from Voodoo Gap. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Voodoo with your email server. So we have two options, basically. In your email server, uh, you have uh, several mailboxes like Mark, Mary and Jones, right? And you could have like, for example, a sales that could be an alias for your own email. Let's suppose your email is Mark, so you can add an alias. Um, so you could create a new mailbox like called like udo at mydomain.com and then set several aliases or you can just use a catch-all. Catch-all uh, can also be named udo instead of catch-all of course or having some other name and that uh, that mailbox is going to be used to send emails from the server to other persons outside the company and also to receive emails or emails from from external persons right now inside Udo you will have it configuration uh, the configuration you will have it is going to send through an SMTP of your email server and it's going to receive from pop IMAP this incoming email server is going to be triggered every five minutes by default you can reduce that or can make it a bit uh, larger uh, depending on your needs but uh, using incoming you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to create leads inside your CRM or tasks inside a project or uh, just add uh, curriculums to to your recruitment applications so let's see how to set up the system uh, first thing to do you have to go into settings then I suggest you activate the developer mode because it's going to show you more options and now in the search bar just write email okay you'll get this external email server you have to check this box and then you set your own domain here that could be something something like mydomain.com this is my local address I'm using this for testing I have a, a Thunderbird here with two accounts one is Mark the other is Mary and Mark has lots of aliases that's how I'm testing and now you set your uh, outgoing this is SMTP you will leave, of course you will have to find your own credentials your own uh, settings like for the different ports depending if it is Gmail or Outlook or any other thing um, now of course incoming uh, this will use IMAP or POP and this will be your settings not the ones that I have here Another thing you should do is go into settings, then find the system parameters and now write mail. Okay, you have all these options. I suggest you set this up with the name of the email account you're using. If it is uh, Udo, if it is um, if it is uh, Udo, you change to Udo. In this case, we have a catch-all, so let's leave it as it is. And the bounce, uh, this is also used when the email bounces. So if you send an email to somebody that does not exist or maybe has gone from that company, it will bounce and it will be, uh, this one will catch the, the bounce. So uh, now, yeah, so we've seen how this works. The first thing, the first thing we, we can do with this is uh, just take a sale order for example and in this sale order communicate directly with the customer so I can just send a message and I click here I'll make it wider I'll choose Mary because that's the email I'm using here to send and say I uh, Mary let's book call so I can explain you uh, this quote and then best I don't even book I don't even need to uh, have a signature because I already had I already set mine so I'm sending and if I go here in my profile every message that I will send it will use this email signature you can change this you can add your logo you can have whatever you want because this is HTML and yeah but going back to my sale order so you'll see if i open here that is 
uh, the email that Mary has received. We are using Mary's mailbox. It says, hi Mary, let's book a call. Best regards. Then mark admin at and the website that we had on the signature. And that's it. Now, of course, uh, let's, I suppose Mary is going to reply. It's going to say, uh, hi Mitchell. Sure. Uh, let's do uh, tomorrow 10 a.m. And then we send. Okay. When we send, uh, Udo is going to use the incoming. And that's only going to be triggered every five minutes by default. So what I'm doing is that I can force fetch. If I go to the incoming mail, I fetch now. And now, if I refresh here, we will see Mary's answer, right? I'm Mitchell, sure, let's do tomorrow. So this is one of the uses. Another use is using the SMTP to receive things, and, and then you can, of course, reply. Uh, but you can use, for example, on the CRM, sales teams. And for the sales team, I have an email alias called Sales Europe and another one called Sales US. Okay, so let's then go to our pipeline and let's uh, go to Mary's email. I'll go and write another message and say Sales Europe at James Local. And I I need a quote uh, from Europe, something like this. Okay. And I send. And now let's do the same and send for sales USA at james.local. And then I need a quote from uh, USA. Let's add a few more things here and send. Okay. Now again, let's go to Wudu. Let's fetch. Let's move to our pipeline. And I'm going to remove my filter. And there we have. This one says I need a quote from Europe. And the sales team is Europe. Of course, in that sales team, you'll have a sale manager and you'll have more uh, salespersons and the sale manager now, since this is not assigned, or it's assigned to Mitchell Admin, uh, it will be able to forward to somebody else, right? So if I go back and I click now Sales USA, you'll see it's assigned to America, okay? So another use is just uh, the project. If you go to the project management, you see we have, oh, well, it's it right here on the dashboard. I have already created a uh, project one James local and if you want to see it's going to be here you have other options like everyone authenticated partners followers only authenticated employees so these are your options and now you can save and going back here so we have eight tasks so if I send one I'll uh, write to project one Uh, yeah, and say by X and send. Of course, the, you'll have something here on the body and send. The same way we have to fetch now. Now we go here, and if you open this one. Still eight. Maybe it hasn't arrived yet. Let's see. There's nothing here. Okay, it was a a, a small delay. So there you have by X, and the message has landed here. Uh, and yeah, uh, another one that I like a lot is 
of course you can do this exactly the same on help desk help desk you can go here and settings you can set your alias here and then you can set how the assignation is going to be done if it is manual random or balanced if balanced you, you can choose the team members that will be assigned to and random also and the one that i like most is uh the recruitment app so in the recruitment you see we have developer underscore one i set this one here and it's great because you see we have seven applications we are going to decide which one is going to work for us and uh let's uh go back here and show you so if you got, go here into alias there's the alias okay so if we are an applicant, we can also just uh, write and send to developer one at James local and say, I, I want to work for you. And then we attach our CV, maybe, I don't know, just something and then send and it's gone now of course we have to fetch here yeah let's fetch a couple of times and we have seven so if we refresh now we have wait and you see this is a great way i had done one test before this is a great way to uh, do things uh, you seen when i switch to the phase the next phase uh, because you have this configuration here, uh, it sends applicant interest, it sends this email template. So you can set like a welcome message when the applicant sends uh, the application. And then when he moves from another stage, you can automatically send something to him. And that's quite handy. And yes, I think we covered it all. Uh, there are more uh, use cases uh, inside to do default to do you or you can create or customize your own uh, because uh, with development, you can add this feature to any other object. And and yeah, uh, I hope you understood how it works. Uh, the only one I, I hadn't explained is uh, this. So you can also uh, uh, sent directly to uh, uh, discuss channel so just right here and then it's going to show up on the channel also it was going to show up here for several persons for example and so yeah other than that I think we covered mostly everything and thank you for listening and uh, see you on next video bye bye